I was just sat here and I was about to go to the gym and I was voice noting with my best friend and I felt inspired to record my next YouTube video. So here we are. Um, and what I was really thinking about was this concept of shifting from the achiever mode into the performer mode because some of my videos are about shifting from dreamer mode into performer mode. And that's actually the video I'm supposed to be recording today is dreamer mode into performer mode. But I felt really called to record this video, which is about achiever mode into performer mode. And for those of you who are new to the channel, I want to explain a little bit what I mean by that. So I've been working on this framework for the past six years. It's really a framework of how to succeed, how to unlock your best self, how to live your best life, and how to really align your life both for success and greatness and achieving your dreams and being a champion, but also balancing that with being present and just I've always been fascinated by what why are we here what are we here to do what is success what what is what is what is this all about and I came to this to this um, understanding of this word flow and flow means a lot of different things and I use it in a lot of different ways it's a very catch-all word for me but the concept of flow is really about living a life in alignment with the life you're meant to be living. It's you at your best. It's you living your best life. And we're going to call that performer mode, right? So that's what I refer to. When we're in performer mode, we are living this life. We're in alignment. We're living our best life. But the key thing is with performer mode is that it's, we access it through a, through a balance, a balance of two core energies, yin and yang, masculine and feminine, structure and chaos, left and right brain. That's how we access this state of flow. And what happens in our modern society is that, and that's not necessarily going to make sense to you right now, just park that. What happens in our modern society is that most of us aren't living in balance, right? We're not living in this perform mode. We're not living in flow. We're living in either, either dreamer mode or achiever mode. Dreamer mode being where we've gone too far onto the, um, the yin side, the chaos side, the passive side. We're not taking action. We're lazy. We're dopamine seeking. We're not moving forward in our life. And the other side being the achiever mode, control, dom control dominant, working too hard, go, go, go. And it's very easy to go out of alignment. And the way that I work with my clients and um, even with my friends, my family, with myself is constantly bringing awareness to which mode am I in. And you could be in a different mode for a different area of your life. You could be in um, dreamer mode in your health and achiever mode in your work. That happens a lot, right? And you can achieve literally in dreamer achiever mode with anything, right? You can anything that you're wanting to progress forward, you could be in dreamer mode, you could be in achiever mode. And I've been cycling between dreamer mode and achiever mode my entire life. That's how I've come to this theory. And I'm fascinated by these three energetic states, these modes that we live in and how we can live in this performer mode, live in this flow. And I'm fascinated equally by dreamer and achiever. And I am 50%. <laughs> I, I, you know, my life has been both sides. You know, you get some people that are very dreamer dominant. They're very lazy. They're not progressing. They are just thinking, but they're not doing. Or you get people that are very achiever mode dominant. They work, work, work. They work really hard. They work really hard. I have jumped between both of them. Massive extremes. I've always lived in these extremes. And finding this balance, this performer mode, is my mission for myself and my mission for you and for every single person I come across. And my mission with Amplify my business is to bring a million people into flow. Um, it's an enormous goal. Um, and I'm not exactly sure how I would even measure it apart from having a million members in my business. But um, that's my mission. Anyway, so today we're talking about achiever mode. Now, achiever mode is where a lot of people live. Achiever mode comes from a place of what I believe is actually really driven by fear. When we move into achiever mode, we are working really hard, we're controlling, we're pushing, right? The performer energy is, is this pull energy, the achiever energy is push. And I, it's different for men and women. Men can exist in an achiever energy for longer than women, I believe. This is my theory, for a longer energy, I believe. Achiever is a masculine energy, it's push, it's about manual, hard, hard, hard. Women, I believe, should have we need the we need the yang we need the structure but we 
perform better in my, our performer energy as women is different to our performer energy as men. And I take a real fascination between women, um, sorry, in women living in achiever mode because I've grown up in a family of a lot of achiever moded women, very masculine control, heavy women, work, 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 push, push, push. And I myself have been one of those women. And I, I listen a lot when I'm talking to people um, and I'm listening to their personal development journeys and I'm listening to, not even if they're on a personal development journey, I'm just listening to how they're feeling about life. Achiever mode is rife in women in our modern society. And we're seeing a lot of fertility issues, hormonal imbalances, you know, hair loss, all of these things which are coming from women being out of balance in their hormones because they're spending so much time in this push, push, push masculine energy. And I am so driven to help women to succeed and live their best lives and create their brands and their businesses and their dream, whatever it is, without having to go into that achiever mode. And the point of this video, that's kind of all context. The point of this video is a really massive realization which I've had over the last, I've had this realization over the last few years, but it has really landed, I would say in the last month, which is that when we are in achievement, achiever mode is very driven by fear, right? And it's driven by a lack of feeling of safety. I don't feel safe. And that could be a million different reasons that are causing you not to feel safe and that are pushing you into achiever mode, are pushing you into control. It's very hard when we're in achiever mode to, to let go. The way we move from achiever mode into performer mode is by letting go. It's very hard to do that when you are so driven by control. Control has given you a state of safety. But the problem is when we live in this state of control and stress and oh, I need to know everything and I'm a control freak is that we don't let life be what it is meant to be. And, you know, we see burnout, we see all of these different things, you know, lack of sleep, alcohol abuse, excess coffee, all of these different things we see from moving into achiever mode. And the fundamental thing, and I've learned this through therapy, three and a half years of therapy, is that it comes from this foundational place of not feeling safe. We think about the root chakra, the root chakra, the base of the body. We look at the bottom of the pyramid on Maslow's hierarchy, right? You look at any system which has been used previously, and my system is just another system for understanding how, what it is to be a human, comes from this foundation that we must feel safe. And until we feel safe, we don't feel safe to let go and to flow and to truly unlock this incredible life that we are supposed to be living. If you think of flow as like living in flow is living in alignment with this path you're meant to be living on. But when we're in dream or in achiever mode, we're really far from that path. And that's why we can feel so off. We can feel so anxious. We can feel so um, uncomfortable, so unhappy is because we're just not in that path of flow, this beautiful path which was created for us by God, I believe by God, you may believe by the universe, but this gorgeous path that we were created to live. And so few of us really unlock that path that we're meant to live. And that's what I want to help people to do. And this achiever to, the achiever to performer journey is, as I said, the dreamer to a performer and the achiever to performer fascinate me equally because they are so deep and so complex, but there are some core themes which run between all of them. And this feeling of safety, I believe, is the fundamental base of the achiever mode. And I want to give you an example of this. I was in dreamer mode for a year. And what that meant was, if you think of James Clear's theory of, you know, 1% better every day, but if you get 1% worse every day, if you get 1% better every day, which is to live as a perform in perform mode, by the end of the year, you're 37 times better, right? That makes 1% better every day. That's how, I, that's how it, I aim to live my life. And James Clear's work, Atomic Habits, fabulous, fabulous stuff. But on the other side, he says, if you get 1% worse every day, you end up at zero. Well, that's what happened to me last year. Between 2022 and 2023, I got 1% worse every day and I ended up at zero. And this video isn't about dreamer mode. It's supposed to be. Today's video is supposed to be about dreamer mode, but we're going to do next week's video on that. Um, I felt called, very called for this video today to be on achiever mode. And what then happened was, Everything fell apart, life fell apart. I ended up really at ground zero in October this year. Last year, I ended up really at ground zero. I had gone through massive stress with um, giving up smoking weed. I was smoking way too much weed. I then quit smoking weed uh, because the weed had come as a rebalance from the achiever mode. I had, I had gone into achiever mode. 
I had got stressed, overworked, burnt out, started smoking weed, it made me feel calm, it balanced me for a little bit, and then it took me into dreamer mode. Then I quit smoking weed, went into absolutely chronic depression um, because of my brain chemicals. When you stop smoking weed, your brain, when you're smoking as much weed as I was, or marijuana, whatever you want to use it, I call it weed, um, your brain is naturally um, stops producing serotonin and dopamine because you're getting it from the weed, so you remove the weed, you give yourself chronic depression. I was suicidally depressed for three months last summer. Um, I couldn't run my business. My business then went insolvent because I had debt that I was carrying and uh, my business went into liquidation. I had to move out of my house. Me and my boyfriend broke up and my dog, my baby, went into a very, very, had a very bad injury and went into a very expensive kind of, kind of life-saving surgery. And I ended up after about a two week absolute explosion where my whole life completely fell apart, um, needing to move into my brother's sofa bed which is where I lived. And I'm very grateful that he let me live on that sofa bed. And I lived on a sofa bed for five months. I don't know many people that can necessarily say they've lived on a sofa bed for five months. And um, I woke up on the day of the first day of living at Ross's. And well, after a couple of days, I cried through the weekend. I moved in on the Saturday, Sunday. I woke up on the Monday. I remember getting my journal. and I've got these journal entries and I was writing to myself and I was angry and I was a little bit victim minded, you know, why me? Why do all these bad things happen to me? And then I, I wrote and I wrote and I wrote and I wrote and it was like this energy came through me and it was like, we got to, we got to get on with this. We got to shift. We got to move forward. So that's what I did. And I got up and I decided, right, I'm going to start again. I'm going to use everything I know about business, about performance, about personal growth, about life, about everything that I've learned over the last six, six years officially. I would say 10 years um, I've been on the journey and I would say I mean, 30 years I've been on the planet. I'm nearly 32, 32 in two weeks. Um, and I got to work. And what happened was I ended up rebalancing into achiever mode because the dreamer mode was so extreme, so extreme, that I then rebalanced. And I ended up, I think I was in perform mode at the beginning, and then gradually the overworking and the fear and the, and the fear and the lack of trust in myself, the lack of safety pushed me into the achiever mode. And before I then came, I then decided to come and spend six weeks in Bali. I went on a retreat, work out here in Bali. I've been working, had a week off for the retreat, and I've been working the rest of the time. I decided to come out here. And by the time I came out here at the end of May, I was really in achiever mode. And if you look at me in videos, oh my goodness, there's a podcast interview I did. I look so tired. I'm absolutely exhausted, overworked, um, started to put on a little bit of weight again. I'd lost some weight, put on a little bit of weight again because I wasn't prioritizing my health and just achieve mode, achieve mode. So I came to Bali, went on this retreat, had this one week off. One week I went into a, a, a detox retreat, no phone, no food basically. And I experienced this unbelievable level of peace and... I really understood how much I now need to slow down. I've built the foundation, the yang is in place, I've got the structure, and now I need to trust myself and slow down and go into performer mode. And that's what I've been doing since then. I came out of the retreat just about a month ago nearly, just a little bit, a little bit no, about a month ago. And um, I've been practicing for the last month being in performer mode. It's been fascinating, and this is where the video again comes from is how many times I have wanted to, I have nearly gone into achiever mode, how many times I have felt the fear come up in my body and I've gone, I need to work really hard. And it happened to me last week and I've really been connecting with, I had, I've had a really big, over the last year, a really big experience connecting with, with Jesus and I can, I'm going to do other videos on that. Um, I was very much not, I was not, a, a spiritual or you know particularly connected person spent the last six years in what um, is sort of kind of referred to as new age spirituality which is really the universe and now I am much more connected to to God and to Jesus and the message of Jesus not in a religious way in a relationship way and I've been trusting I said Jesus guide me you know guide me every day I've been praying every day and every time I want to rush I say to Jesus tell me what to do and I get this calm slow down slow down and I've had a few times where I've really wanted to push the achiever mode. And it's come from a feeling of not feeling safe. And I thought today was an example. I, I wouldn't, shouldn't be recording this video right now. And I wouldn't be. This is what's so interesting 
is if I had done the day that I wanted to do today and that I had planned today, today I set my alarm really early. I was going to get up. I was going to push, 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 push. Set my alarm off this morning. I knew that wasn't right. I went back to sleep, turned the alarm off, slept for two more hours, had a cup of tea in bed, watched a bit of telly, about to go to the gym, starting my work later on in the day. Trusting that I need to slow down, that slowing down, being in that performer mode comes from me slowing down. And... It was because I had shifted into this energy of not feeling safe. As I, I've got a week left in Bali, then I'm going home, I'm thinking I need to push, I need to get more done, I need to do this, I need to do that, I need to... The achiever mode starts to take over. And it's a daily decision. It's a, the thing is with living in performer mode over dreamer and achiever, it is a daily decision to take it. To not live in dreamer mode, dreamer mode today, if I was gonna live in dreamer mode today, I'd do no work, I wouldn't go to the gym, I'd have had an unhealthy breakfast in bed. I would have scrolled on TikTok. I wouldn't have recorded this video. That would be dreamer mode. That'd be too far on the passive way. Performer mode is balanced, right? It's action, but it's not over rushing. It's balancing rest and work. And that's how I plan to live my life. And by doing that, unlocking the flow, when we're in flow, we're 500% more productive. We're in, a, we're in alignment, we're channeled, all of these different things. I hope you're getting what flow is. If you're not, let me know in the comments. I can do more videos on this because it is a kind of a, an abstract concept which I've developed myself and my mission is to get that out to you. Um, and every time, right, I have said, I want to rush and I've said, Jesus, um, slow me down. Am I meant to rush? Like, I'm not feeling safe. Please, please help me to feel safe. And then I've slowed down. I've been... And this is just my experience, but I've been rewarded. So today I wanted to rush. I felt like I need to push. I need to make more money. Got, I, I decided to slow down, performer mode, slow. Go onto my laptop. I've made a sale, a nice big chunky sale, which brings in a load of money into the business because at the moment, the way I'm building my business is I never want to have an investor, but I want to build a very scalable business. So I scale my business through selling my time, using that money to go into the business. And it's a very big balancing act at the moment. Um, to do that, to balance and stay in performer mode and not go into achiever mode. And that's why I shift into achiever mode because I'm kind of running two different businesses in a way. It's all under one business entity, but it's two different businesses. And the, the craving for the achiever mode, the overwork, is so extreme to push, to push, to push, to go into the fear, to panic. I don't have loads of money in the bank. I've got £20,000 of debt that I'm still paying off. Um, and at the moment, I actually live with my mum and dad to enable me to pay that debt off. I'm nearly 32 years old and I live with my mum and dad. I've got loads of debt, completely single, no prospects. On paper, I'm a massive failure. I do not feel that way at all. I feel like the most successful, happy person that I know because of the fact I know that I'm in, path, in the path of this beautiful flow and this emotional state that I live in, this feeling of peace and purpose and... I know that money and love and all of those things are going to come as I work on being the best version of myself. And I really believe that, that we should chase the best version of ourselves. And by doing that, we unlock our dreams. Um, again, that's kind of another video. The point of this video is this. When we don't feel safe, we are more likely to move into that overworked achiever mode. And as women, it's not a mode I believe that we are supposed to exist in. And I feel like perhaps that's controversial. I don't even know what's controversial anymore. I'm so confused in this world that we live in, what you're meant to say, what you're not meant to say. I can only say my truth and be challenged. If I am challenged by that because it's wrong or I need to learn, then invite in that growth experience, right? I'm a, we're all humans having our first experience on earth. You know, we're going to get it wrong and growing is, is really part of the journey. And it's my favorite part of the journey. So... But I really believe that as women, we're not supposed to push and, and work in the same way that men are supposed to work. I think the feminine energy is, is actually more powerful, actually, if we can unlock and step into that. And every time I've done that, I have seen the most incredible results from trusting, from letting go, from surrendering. And I felt more creative, like this. This is content creation. This is what I'm meant to be doing. This is what's gonna make me the most successful. Not pushing and getting up early and burning myself out and overworking and missing. And I was sat on this balcony, right? Beautiful balcony. And I was voice noting my best friend and I was having a coffee. And I was saying to her, you know, I was saying, because we I keep her updated with all this stuff. And I was saying to her, you know, I wanted a push this morning and I didn't. And because she's also on her achiever mode, rebalancing into perform mode. 
I felt so peaceful. And I said to her, I was like, I'm sat here, this is the view. It's not even, it's not even the most amazing view. Let me show you the view, All right? It's not even the most amazing view. It's a very barley view. You've got the rice paddies, you've got the villas. Over here, you've got like, my gym is over there. You've got Circle K, you've got construction, you've got a nice pool. It's a very barley, a realistic view of Bali. And I was sat there and I was drinking my coffee and I was thinking, I was so at peace. I was so present. And I was like, this is the point of life, these moments. These are why we do everything else. And it's so easy for us to forget that. And then I realized that's performer mode. That is performer mode. And it doesn't mean that I'm not going to work today. I'm, this is work. I'm about to go to the gym and work. I'm going to go to the co-working space, which is just down there. And I'm going to work. And I'm, I'm going to get loads done today. But I've just approached it in this really difficult, different way, even. Because of the fact that I've reminded myself that I'm safe. And I know that sounds... I don't know. I think that would sound hard for other people to feel like are oh, oh, my arms aching they would feel like they're not safe but i really i challenge you to wrap up this video i challenge you to ask yourself are you are you living from a place where you don't feel safe and if so ask yourself where is that lack of safety coming from because if you look at maslow's hierarchy or you look at the root chakra or you look at anything on performance, personal growth, mental health, fear is rife in our society. It is the biggest killer of dreams, of happiness, of peace, of everything. And it starts with trusting that we're safe and doing the deep work and asking the deep questions of what's causing me not to feel safe. And reminding ourselves that we're safe and that's actually my mantra now i have it set as my background on my phone i use this amazing affirmation app i'm gonna do a video on it um that i'm safe i am safe and everything's safe and i'm gonna be fine and even though my mind wants to fight against that and find all the logical reasons that i'm not safe i know that my body just wants to feel safe and from there, I will flourish. So I think it's an interesting topic. I'd love to discuss it in the comments. I'd love to discuss if there is a feeling of fear that's driving you and driving your achiever mode and what's causing you not to feel safe. And what could you do to feel more safe? What can we do as a community to help each other to feel more safe? Because trust me, the performer mode, when you unlock it, that's what we're here for. That is what we're here for. It's success with presence and peace and growth. I mean, it's everything. So I'm gonna wrap up there. Um, thank you for watching this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I really wanna build a community here where we share and we're open and we're learning and we're growing together. And um, yeah, to your perform mode, to your flow. Bye.